Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Kamasi here with another Bakugan Armored Alliance review. Uh, this right here is a Target exclusive, as you can see. And this is the new set or wave of Fusion Bakugan. Um, I know they've been having a lot of trouble uh, releasing these, uh, you know, this wave of Bakugan, especially with, you know, shipping the way it is with Corona and everything. So uh, it's been kind of scarce, and I'm really happy that I found this at my local Target. So, without further ado, here we have uh, Howlcore and Rimparian, the combination, and then we have Pegatrix and Gillator. Or Gillator, um, it's probably Gillator. So, let's get to opening this guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know, let's look at the back real quick. Uh, here we have the different Bakugan, and it apparently comes with four Bakugan cores, four trading cards, and two character cards. All right, there we go. Back to open. All right, so back is off. Let me adjust this a little bit. Let me just use my one hand, one good hand. All righty. So first things first, let's check out these Baku cores. All right, so we have Helix. Oh, yep, there we go. The Helix, a shield, and two fists. All right, so that is super weak. Oh my god, 50 health and plus two damage. I wouldn't put that on my team. Uh, next up we have, hopefully this one's better, plus one damage. Wow, that's so disappointing. All right, the shield, plus 500, and it has to be fusion. That's cool. That can so turn the tides of any table, especially if your opponent doesn't have any fusion Bakugan, then he's really screwed. So that is definitely something you want to consider. And finally, oh wow, okay, so plus 300 base power through fusion and plus two frost attack. And as I've discussed earlier, frost attack means that it costs an extra amount of energy to play flip cards when you're taking damage. So that is awesome. So we got two cores that are pretty awesome and two that are garbage, basically. You can toss these in the trash can. I'm joking, obviously you don't want to do that. This costs money. All right, so on to the main event. Well, you know, I actually like to use the cards first. So, I mean, there's my Alienware. Let's look at, Jesus Christ. Yeah, there we go. All right. Here we have the new fusion cards. Wow, and they're super pretty. Holy crap, look at that. All right, so first and foremost, Halcor Ramparian. Base uh, damage is six, and his base health is 500. Excuse me. So that's a really cool art design, and you get plus, oh, it costs four energy to fuse him. Wow, oh snap, there's the fuse. Okay, Jesus, he's powerful, 800 health and 10 damage. That is not something you want to mess with, Jesus Christ. If I was the opponent, I'd be worried. Let's see what we got here. We have now Pegatrix and Gillator. You gotta be kidding me. It's a fusion if he lands on a shield or a fist. That's impressive. How much is the... Okay, so it's a little bit more balanced still. That's pretty awesome. 800 health out the bat and three damage. That's incredible. What is this? Oh, these are the ability cards. So, whoa, plus 1,300 base power. Oh my God, for six energy. That's incredibly strong. Definitely something you wanna look out for. I, I, shoot, I'm excited to play with these. Uh, Darku's Destroyers, sorry, Darkest Destroyers. I don't know why I said it like that. Two energy and you are immune to base. Oh, it's a Baku gear. That's cool. Huh. That's a really nice holo too. Holo card. Uh, it does one damage plus 200 health and you are immune to any kind of like uh, damage lowering or B power lowering moves. So that's pretty awesome. Next we have uh, Baku Spring. It's a Baku action card. It costs one energy and you are also I have never seen that 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 symbol. Um, so that is, do you get to draw one card? Is that what that means? Who knows? 
If anyone knows, please answer in the comments. And lastly, we have Halo. It's, oh, it's another Baku gear. Heya Slashers. Plus one frost attack. Wow, 400 health, but no damage. So definitely something to look out for. Um, I, don't, I mean, I don't... Let me think. Like, if you're using this card here and you're coming out with... Uh... Actually, it's a Heos Baku. It's a Heos Bakugan gear. So actually, you could just use your... Uh, where is he? Uh, this guy right here. So, yeah, this would definitely be like a super, you know, HP powered up Bakugan 800 plus 400. Unfortunately, you wouldn't be doing much damage if you do win that fight. So, just something to look out for. And then, last but not least, we have the Bakugan themselves. All right. So, here we go. We have. Ah! Looks like they're stuck in rubber bands. Let me help help my friends out here. I'm gonna go free them. Jesus Christ, they are super in there. Okay, so this is a cool design. This like metallic gold paint really kind of gives me like an Egyptian god, you know, vibe to it, like pharaohs of old. And they did a really nice job with the head sculpt, as you can see here. Um, they're not like weird or wonky. You have the Ventus symbol here. I hope that's Ventus. Is that Ventus? Please don't embarrass me on YouTube. Uh, yes, sir. No. Do -do -do -do. Uh, no, that was definitely Darkest. Yeah, you see how yeah, that'll do it. Ends my whole YouTube career. And then you have the Chaos as well. So Darkest and Chaos. That's a cool combination. I like that combination, actually. I might have to use that more often comes with the uh, two Bakugan gears, so that's actually really neat, you know, it's like, the, a lot of these uh, sets, you know, that come with, you know, the old Bakugan gear sets, they come with, you know, the Bakugan, they're like 14 bu bucks a pop, um, so for them to include them in the set is pretty awesome, especially because a, a Bakugan Ultra with Baku gear is about $13, you know, give or take tax, this at all together cost me about $14. So you're getting two Bakugan, Fusion Bakugan, and you're getting two of the little, you know, Baku gear accessories. So that's pretty neat. I think these are like the, the, the darkest swords. Um, one thing I learned is that your Bakugan gear won't necessarily correlate with the Baku gear you get. You know, they're just, they're different. So that's pretty neat. Um, and let's move on to the Chaos, Pegatrix, and Gilator. So we have... Our two Bakugan gears here. And our Bakugan is needing some freeing. Jesus Christ. This is a cool looking Bakugan. Look at that. You have the gold accentuating here, nice metallic gold. You have the Chaos and Ventus symbols, but they look blue, which, you know, looks like something you would have like an Aquas Bakugan. Uh, let's see. Oh, yada yada, come on. Where is the card? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you have Chaos and Ventus. So a pretty nice design. Um, you can put the Bakugan gears here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach those real quick. Okay, yeah, that, that kind of helps fill out the Bakugan a little more. It's a bit skinny in the middle. Um, so kind of bulk it up a little bit. You wanna maybe put the Bakugan gear on there. Kind of give it more, more, you know, power or something like that. Uh, the B power is printed right there, so it's plus four or four hundred health base. I think this one, yeah, it's printed on the bottom here, so it's five hundred. You can't really see it, but there you go. All right, so that is it for this unboxing. We have the Pegatrix Skeletor, and we have the Howler Ramparian. So, tell me what you guys think about these new Fusion Bakugan. Um, you know they're pretty they're pretty cool honestly i, I enjoy them the, the fusion cars uh, the box cores are definitely something you want to you know look out for if you're trying to really screw over your opponent like <laughs> play some of these and see how mad they get that'd be pretty awesome to see and, and i think it's a good deal look i mean you got really nice car designs again that's just gorgeous honestly and then you have really cool ability cards that correlate with uh, you know, your Bakugan you're getting. Unlike this utter trash here of a starter set, how you don't get any Aurelius cards 
in your set you get you know really nice cards so uh, again that's it for this unboxing if you guys liked what you saw you know hit a thumbs up or or don't you know do whatever you feel like and i'll catch you all later peace